Our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. The port is near. The bells I hear. The people all exulting. While follow eyes the steady keel. The vessel grim and daring. That doesn't rhyme, Walt Whitman. (laughs) Queen. (laughs) Eat my cooter. That's the way that ended. I can't believe you did that when we have a guest. The one episode where a below deck where we have a guest and you just did some pretentious poem. The episode was was called Oh Captain My Captain and it's not a pretentious poem. It's a very famous poem by Walt Whitman. Y'all, this Who is was below, a big fag. <laughs> this is below deck and speaking of just a lot of facts, we got 3 of them here today cuz it's Y'all. me, it's Poodle and Hollywood Leon from Everyone is Terrible. Welcome hey. Leon. Um. Uh. Sorry. Should we should we call you by your Christian name, Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> Matt said the same thing on my show. Oh, Leon is fine. <laughs> you stole that from me, you bitch. <laughs> um. Uh. Well. Anyway, I apologize to everyone who did not get to hear Leon because they just turned me off because they thought, "What the fuck is this bitch on?" <laughs> anyway, but you're on a very long flight. Um. I, was, I just got off a six-hour flight. From New York. So. This has been a long time in the making, Leon, because you and I go back way back in After Buzz days. Um, R.I.P. Right? It's gone, right? Oh, it's so gone, girl. It's gone, girl. <laughs> it's, it's gone. gone. It's, it's gone, girl, but the, the demise was not as interesting as gone, girl. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, no we. When did you hear Maria Menounos is pregnant? What? <gasps> Look at her. Good for her. With, with his baby? Oh, yes. Well, I'm just oh. making sure after after this Sandoval thing and everybody's talking, who knows who's fucking uh, who? Everyone's well, so, everyone is terrible. <laughs> everyone is terrible. This I, is, yeah, I've, y'all. Leon, I've, I've said that for years, and I'm so glad someone agrees with me. <laughs> when, I, when I coined it, everybody was like, oh, I agree with this. Good job. And I'm like, mm, all right. It's go. true. There, yeah, are, pro- there are probably some people who said, that's really, really negative. I'm like, look around. Everyone is terrible. Oh, Gigi from Shaws of Sunset, her manager had the nerve to email me go, why would I want my client to be on a show called Everyone is Terrible? I said, if we were on Bravo <laughs> right now, I would say, cue the montage of Gigi <laughs> fighting and attacking everybody. <laughs> uh, has he met her? That's what um, I said. I'm like... <laughs> Come on. She was, this is kind of shitty crap, like gossipy shit, but she was in the, um, the, the green room at the crappies, uh, basically asking, cause she presented something. She was asking like, so how long do I have to be here? <laughs> it was, it was like, it was. <laughs> no, Golnessa. The Loch Ness she... Monster Golnessa. <laughs> Golnessa. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up though, because we just do. For Bravo, we just do below deck. We don't even do Summer House anymore because we couldn't do it anymore. Oh, but you're are you, you're are you watching this season of Summer well, House. You do, you do. What do you do? I you can. do almost all things Bravo, basically. What what I, are you I doing? Do all right things now? Bravo. I don't do Summer House just because I don't know how anyone can watch the show if you're over thirty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I'm you. Like, I feel stupid watching this, and I, yeah. feel like I could be doing something better with my time. I'd rather watch middle aged women fight. That's my niche. I think that's a much better spectator sport. I think about Summer House and you either you either you need to be under 30 or you need to be trying to relive something of your of your 20s and early 30s. My other problem is the new people don't fucking care. Like they're there. They're they're not even there to make friendships. They're there to get screen time. Yeah. And cows chaos. And and, and the old cast members don't want to be there, right? All like, like the like Lindsay and Carl don't want to be there. They're just trying to hawk their new their new reality show. Lindsay loves Carl. Oh my god! I I'm can't. just thinking that would be what it was. They're all terrible people. I can't watch it. Now, are you? Are Amanda you looks more like a hoodie than I've ever seen this year. That's it's like true. an old college hoodie. 
<laughs> we are going to talk about Below Deck, but let's be honest, y'all. It was kind of a boring finale. But so, and but what uh, Jake had to educate me because I don't know anything about Vanderpump Rules. So he had to educate me on all the drama. Like, are you now you get guests on your show? Have you had anybody <laughs> spill tea on your show about all this drama? Well, I just did a little mini episode on the Scandaval, and I mm-hmm. covered the Royal Housewives of Miami, which is fabulous. But uh, I haven't watched Vanderpump Rules for years, but of course I had to jump on the bandwagon because I know all of them. They all know me. I hate yeah. them. They hate me. <laughs> I'm blocked on every account that Jax has ever created. Oh, um, he literally has. He did, For a while there, he was just creating account after account. There's a Twitter account called Blocked by Jax. <laughs> I'm friends with them. No, I love Ari. I'm team Ariana, no matter what, like team Ariana for She's sure. Lovely. But I was just saying like, they've all slept with each other. Like they, they've all seen each other's butt cracks and cocks and pussies and everything. It's like, what's the, what's the big deal? I understand like everyone's really gung ho and up in arms, but what I'm most mad at is that like, now we have to start watching Vanderpump Rules again. That's what I'm really mad about. <laughs> well, I watched it like the first season and then I just had to stop because everyone was just so shallow. <laughs> like yeah. and it but it wasn't even really funny. Um they were so obviously out to be reality stars and trying to be trying to parlay it into actual acting. Um It's a and, unicorn. It is a it, uni- it's one of those shows that it's like I don't know how it took off, but it 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 got a life of its own and like everyone that even worked on it was just like we had no idea this was going to become a thing like we all thought this was going to just die and we were all going to be embarrassed and now it's just like embarrassing and now and they are <laughs> wow they don't but they, they have, have no shame now. anymore they have money they have brand deals they have fucking books and everything it's like they have you know raquel is now the star of the damn show she's stassi now all she had to do was like you know have an affair it's true and change her name from Rachel to Raquel. Um, and she had a D- James oh. Kennedy, and that was work right there. She put in the work. That's <laughs> the, that, that is a horse face you don't forget. Oh, man. Maybe he has a nice dick. I wonder no. about that, because sometimes, you know, when they're really skinny, it's like... That's I, true. I, I agree, but there's, there's proportional elements in his face that say average at best. <laughs> Lala right, would have told us if he was like a horse hung cowboy. She would. Yeah, he would have. Yeah, she would have. You know what I mean? Seven minutes in, and we're into dick talk, y'all. This is what you. This is what you live for. Now, so okay, just because I want to our our sissies to know. Below deck, um, obviously, all the housewives. And do you do anything else off of Bravo or just Bravo? I honestly just do all the terrible things and people we see on TV. I do terrible TV recommendations. <laughs> But it's mostly just like iconic TV and Real Housewives. Okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Have you seen when I hear the phrase "terrible TV," I think of Milf Manor, which Maddie watches. Oh, um, he recommended it on my show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he sullied your like filth palace with even worse <laughs> trash. Man, that one is just. Oh, I mean, I thought. Uh, Finale just aired. I haven't watched it yet. It's just just too dark. Like, it's too dark for me. (laughs) Man, half of those guys are gay. I've seen one of them on (laughs) Grindr. I'm like, these these guys aren't straight. Especially like, that one. I I'm saw like, a pick of your hole. That's <laughs> true. It's true. It, it's I mean, not I good. Kind of a picture of mine. So, what <laughs> is there a terrible show you're that you secretly like right now that you're watching? Ooh, God. Well, you know, like I was talking a lot of shit about Real Houses of New Jersey because it's like the same hamster wheel all over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Melissa fighting with Teresa and Joe and her not getting along, but. I have to say I'm kind of sucked back in because there's some newbies and it's very New Jersey. Uh, It's very branded, um, you know, the fucking Garden State Mm -hmm. (laughs) corals they have. Um, So (laughs) I'm down with it again. I was I was kind of acting like I wasn't going to watch it, but yeah, I'm kind of sucked right back into New Jersey. So I I said I wasn't going to just be sucked up into Bravo again, but it's sucking me up again. I had. You're I trash st- like us. That's yeah. we're all just garbage. I used to watch. <laughs> I used just just admit it. I used to watch New Jersey in the early days 
where I, I was there for prostitution whore and the flipping of the table. And I was there for Caroline, Caroline Manzo's uh, sons and wanting wanting to open open a salami store. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was all like when Bravo was amazing. There yes. was no like rules yet. It was just yeah. like a free flowing spirit. Right. <laughs> yes. Now it's yeah. become its own entity and demon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. It's, Bravo it's Con. true. Yeah. And there's like a spawn. There is a whole religion that worships these demons. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And we're true. contributing to it. Burn it all down. You know what? Below deck, though, it's the formula that works. That's why they do different parts of the world and different like uh, ports and everything, because it's the formula that's working. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep these key people, but you replace everybody else. And it's just like a fresh, it's a fresh yeah. thing. It's going to keep going forever. And I, this was a great season. No, it, it was, was a bad, a bad finale, but a great season. Well, we unfortunately we had to say goodbye to Camille way too early because she would have rained down hellfire <laughs> the she whole was the show. season. <laughs> she was the show. She was, she was, she was the show. Um, all right, we're going to jump into all of that. But real quick before we do that, sissies, we know that you care about this because we care about it too. Um, if you're in the Facebook group, you probably noticed that uh, our moderator Jordana posted a post about. Uh, kind of just basically the attack on drag that's happening in our country right now and, and drag queens and drag queens. Um, and so we are, we, I saw that RuPaul's drag race has combined, has joined forces with the ACLO, ACLU and they've created the drag defense fund. And they're actually even doing a like telethon with all these fucking drag queens. They're doing it as a moment. I digital telethons. World. I know they're doing, I'm going to watch. They're doing it as a digital worldwide moment to raise money for the Drag Defense Fund. And to support that, we're going to be watching, but also to support that in the Facebook group, you can go to Jordana's post and you can click on the link and you can give money to the Drag Defense Fund as well. This is already much better than fucking Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I love a telethon. Me too. Me I love to, I love to watch the people on the phones, which I don't even think that's even possible anymore. Like no one, everyone's on no. cell phones. <laughs> we'll yeah. um, we'll post on our Instagram too, and um, in our in our link tree link or link tree, whatever you want to call it, we'll put a little link where you can donate to that as well. So, anyways. I commend you. Kudos to that because yeah. there's such an underlining hate message that it's really not about drag it's really not about the queens it's just the target yep it's it's all the hate that's spewing underneath the division of our country yeah it, we're just not headed in the right direction so i think we should turn that around so go donate amen Please. and it's the it's yes. the it's the next it's the next they 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 aim their something at a different a different target and it's but it's the same it's the same hate behind it it's the exactly. same this these people are more more marginalized. Oh, these people are more marginalized. Let's go for that. So it's, it's but it's you're right. It's the exact same emotion behind it. Yeah, every single time. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Everyone is terrible. Everyone. <laughs> it really it's the best title, Leon. You could have thought of. It's so appropriate. Shot every time you hear the word terrible. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You'll be too drunk to walk after that. That's kind of our listeners. Um, so I already prepped Leon and told him that Jake and I will be teabagging him today. All right. Uh, <laughs> then if you're if you're prepped, I will not be gentle. We're just I'm ready to go. There you go. I think we're all KB. prepped here. Um yeah. KB, Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> let's this is this has already gotten <laughs> filthy. I knew that y'all would be really good friends. Some, I knew someone, you would be. Someone someone just heard gaping and their toddler in the back went, gaping. <laughs> <laughs> or their husband went, honey, this is too much. This is too this much. This is where I gotta turn this. There's um, only one we won't say gaping anymore. We won't say anything. Oh please. P please, please, the shit poodle says on this show. We're it's fine. It's fine. fine. Okay, so we let's go tea bags. Poodle, do you have a tea bag? Do you want to start? Do you want me to start? I want to start by um, jumping in to say that on the last day of the charter, Katie finally realized Ross was a fuckboy. <laughs> 
He's only he's only been making you look stupid for two months straight on national TV. He's Weekly. only spent sixteen episodes making you look like the female version of a cuckold. Um, constantly, and I just want to say her words were, at this point, I know who Ross is, and I'm going to take it for what it is for the next 12 hours. (laughs) 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 I just screamed. (laughs) I screamed out in the Delta Lounge and went, well, that's a spine. Good. (laughs) Is this our go girl moment? You know what, though? It took her a minute because I, I, I've been feeling bad for her for Me weeks. too. <laughs> and then she went on Watch What Happens Live and Kate Chastain was the I other I saw guest. it, yes. It was amazing. And I she was it. so intimidated by Kate's presence. And Kate has a very, you know, she makes her facial expressions, uh, expressions. So she was just questioning herself. She's deeply insecure. And I just I felt terrible for her. She wasn't painted in the nicest light on the no. show. And it just came across everywhere else she came across as a fool unfortunately and i don't think she's just very miami her makeup is totally 2004 um that makeup at the dinner was bad yeah it's not my waterdale girl (laughs) (laughs) she is for motherfucking lauderdale she ain't miami miami is exotic beauty and that is nothing like katie that's true um, that is very true. I just thought, I don't think she didn't make a strong enough uh, kind of impression to be hired back again. So I think y'all think we'd just say goodbye to Katie because I doubt she'll be on. Uh, she wasn't She wasn't as cuckoo crazy as Riley and she wasn't as kind of good at her job like someone like Malia would be or and so I think we're going to have to say bye. Even when Tony was like, she's bossing me around. I'm like, we haven't even seen that. We haven't seen anything from her. <laughs> Who? When Tony was like, she keeps bossing me around and telling me what to do. I'm like, this is weird. We don't see any of that. <laughs> All we see is her crying over Ross and like looking dumb. That's yeah. very true. It's it was true. like, what? Um, What's your next tea bag, Maddie? Um, or Leon, do you have a tea? Or I can go, whatever. We- oh, no, sorry. go, baby. Okay, so... My next tea bag is what do we think of? Is there something wrong with me that I'm attracted to Mr. Olympia? I don't think that kind of big muscles are hot, but that's just me. Um, it depends on the day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> it depends. What? Have I had breakfast? If on Monday, on Monday you have stronger choices, and by Friday you're you're gaping and you're just whatever. <laughs> it is like fucking an ice sculpture when they're that big. I. I, that's a good way to put it. And to me, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of, I'm doing this with my shoulders, that kind of shows there's not a lot of, um, they're not very lithe. <laughs> they just, they just feel like big blocks of like. Man meat. Man meat. Yeah. Man. Wow. But give Don't me that. Wrong. It's still fun though. Give me, give me that delicatessen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? But again, I, I kind of thought they had these like. They all look like professional wrestlers, and we thought they were going to be these like really just high maintenance aggro guests, and they were just Fraser. I think would have been a bu- in a bukkake with all these people. He was they in were love. sweet as pie. They were Every- so sweet, and they're like, "Oh, we don't want to impose." <laughs> they're th- saying <laughs> things like, "Sure, d- can I can I throw this drink away for you?" It was it was basically <laughs> that. I'm surprised it was like, no, like, okay, I want a protein shake, egg whites in the morning. No. Like, nothing, nothing. They were all so happy to be there. Everything they, were eating, was... they were eating a lot of carbs, too. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel's like, I'm serving you six courses of pasta. And French toast. <laughs> Y'all, I have to say, Rachel has pronounced things wrong throughout her career. I have not heard one as bad as Papa Dolly. <laughs> I know, I was thinking, I'm like, how do you I don't say Papa Dolly? Papa Dolly. <laughs> Papa Dolly, the secret, the sequel to Hello Dolly. Um, yeah. Hello Dolly on Poppers. Papa Dolly. You know what it is? She's burnt out and she hasn't had a drink this entire time. And you know, Thank Rachel, you. when she drinks, she's like crazy. Um, that is that, exactly that's what I was going to talk about, too. Rachel's she, done, right? She's, she's done. Well, she's already she done. She was so burnt out. 
Um, I think they probably re-edited these last few episodes to kind of explain why we will never, ever see her again on television. Because, y'all, it wasn't that she came for stars of reality television. It was that she came for PR and posted it. Oh my God! She totally she came for Bravo, she, but this she was all came like, like for network. Con. She like yeah. called out um, what's his face from Southern Charm, Austin awesome Kroll. Yeah, yeah. She was like, "Bitch, I don't fucking know you. Don't act like you know me." So but she yeah. kind of came after them hard, but then this show happened. So maybe it was all way before, and I'm just bad on my timeline. But it was it was before, and but she, I think. I think she's been having problems. I think she's been having just, she didn't seem right the last yeah. half of the season. Yeah. She You're right. Way, she just haven't had a drink. <laughs> she was way more on point last season. Yeah. I do love her though. But yeah, even, even Sandy was like, dude, what's going on with you? Like we, I had to pull you aside and tell you to hurry up. You know, how did why you, you want to do 10 fucking courses when you can just cook two big meals? It's exactly. True. What, how this is not a tea bag per se, but how, were you glad to see Captain Sandy on this season of Below Deck? <laughs> Usually I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> but you know what, though? Sandy brought it this season. Not only did she, you know, bail uh, Captain Lee out, who was not ready to come back, by the way. He was, he was not. still limping and gimping. I'm like, why are you back? <laughs> oh, oh. It, but I he... found out why. He had to come back because Sandy would have left anyway because Leah was having surgery. Oh, this was this oh, is tea. This is tea. <laughs> See, Lee and people tell Lee and stuff. They don't tell us. Stuff. Captain that Lee, is, I saw him her at girlfriend, Bravo by Con, the way. Yeah. and he was walking around like a normal person and everything. So that's why when I was like, when he came back, I was like, he wasn't ready to come back. And then I yeah. went on Twitter, and Sandy tweeted everything. She was like, well, I would have left either way because like Leah was having surgery, and there was like an end date. So he he came back to fulfill his contract, but he didn't come back because he was better. Yeah. Yeah, it, it didn't. It didn't seem like he was. He wasn't at full strength by any means. No, he yeah. still had the little walker and the crutch thing. Yeah. And when I saw him at BravoCon, all he had was his bride. Yeah, <laughs> the, his, his, his wife. Yeah. How <laughs> how was BravoCon? Uh, so BravoCon, Captain Lee and his wife were walking around the entire time, like without handlers or anything, because I feel like people respect them enough to not mob them. Yeah. But I saw him talking to Jake from State Farm, and I was like, oh, look, that's a <laughs> weird fucking powerhouse duo right there, man. <laughs> that is so strange. And Jake from State Farm, so hot. Can get he, it he really he's is. He's real hot. He's pretty buff. He's I, really hot, and he's really nice, and he has a wife, too. Like, it just, I was just like, Ugh. What was he doing at BravoCon? I don't know, but he had a huge <laughs> fucking partition a, a stage of not like one or two, like several photo ops. Like, isn't it, isn't it interesting that he has literally made a career off of delivering a somewhat competent response to someone on the phone on, on television? And he wasn't even the original Jake Farm state no. guy. That's what no. I'm like. The luck. No. The luck. Yeah, they I'm replaced him. You. Yeah, uh, he, he subbed in. Some people have really struck fucking gold out here and then some people just have just stepped in a big pile of crap <laughs> and then some people are doing a podcast with at 9 p.m at night <laughs> after a cross-country flight it's a different sure. sidewalk different sidewalk Did anything else any uh, like hot messes from BravoCon or any, we didn't go to any so we don't know anything uh bravo con was just it was a lot like think like literally like we had just wrapped beverly hills so it was heightened like right there was a fucking stampede at one point at BravoCon because the Beverly Hills ladies, like everybody wanted to be in that room. Everyone wanted to hear the panel. Everyone wanted to see Rena and Kyle and everybody. Yeah. And so people lined up for hours missing all this BravoCon because they wanted to be first in lines. And then when it came down to like let people in line, people bum rush security <laughs> and people just started lifting the curtain and running underneath and going into oh, the ballroom. It was Bedlam. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> it was like Bravo on steroids. People were like going crazy. Like even just like the fact that they, I know Lisa Ren is a monster and a bully, but yeah. like this is like her area, her safe zone. This is BravoCon. And she was booed when she came <gasps> out. 
And I was like, yo, this is a TV show. Everybody calm the F down. That's that's the thing. We need we need heroes and we need villains, and they need to be super black and white. And that's why I think things have gotten a little crazy. Like uh yeah, I think we need it's like we just need to reel it back in, you guys. It's a show. We're on show. it's It's an entertainment. If you ever think if you don't think I'm think I'm off here. Go to Reddit. Go to Reddit and read what some Redditors think about this show. They treat it as if it is 48 hours. They really do. They really (laughs) do. They're treating it like it is what is exactly happening. I hate her. How could anyone think that this person's a good person? I think she's a a good person. No, she's a terrible person. If they're on TV, they're bad people. (laughs) (laughs) If they're doing reality TV, like they're already fucked. You know what I mean? It's like I, guys, like don't I will hold say, your so high. We True. did. We, we have an interview that's going to air next week um, at this time with Haley from Below Deck, and she's like one of the few people. She would probably say, "Oh, I'm a very bad person." <laughs> she <laughs> she would probably say that, her. but she's a really kind person. We had a really good time interviewing her. So y'all was, look for that. Yes, her and she brought her. Friend John, the super gay guy from the pageant trip of the charter of Below Deck, the all the pageant queens. Remember the one gay oh, guy? Oh yes. So the he she was staying. Guy. She was staying with him in West Hollywood, and they both came and sat on she's my like, couch in the apartment. She's like, I'm like a gay magnet. I basically pulled him to my boobs, <laughs> and that we had a great time. I, I put out like these nice hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that, and then I went. I bet they're a little trashy, so I'm just going to put out a bowl of Fritos. They ate all those goddamn Fritos. I'm um, living. <laughs> it, they were they were lovely. She was she was wonderful. Um, it, it was good. What's time. I have you another. Tell me she came over. That's so cool. I oh love yeah, her. I just said we. Yeah, she like actually because you know how some people when they ask you to podcast they don't get it that it's all remote now, and so there's some people that are like, oh, I'm in town, and I'm like, okay, so you're gonna. And then they're like, no, I want to do this in person. And you go, I got to clean my bathroom. You're like, like I don't <laughs> have a studio anymore, honey. It's not like back in the day. <laughs> it's exactly. like a, it's like any Hollywood actor that's like, I don't know how to work a phone. <laughs> like people, They're so dumb. A lot of they know nothing about anything. And they're like, wait, are we recording? But that, that's not how she was. But no. sometimes you'll get someone and they're like, how do I Zoom? Where's my assistant? Help oh me, Zoom. God. Or when I you know. do the interview, they're trying to do it on their phone. And you're like, come <laughs> on. Anyway. You, you, know, you know what? It happens. Like You know, remember uh, Pig Royalty, like Tyler, he Zoomed from his car on oh. his phone. The boy, that that was some tragic mess. We we talked to Michelle and her mother. They had a backdrop and everything. They they went for it. They did. You we know what? Gonna... I don't understand like what happened with that because you know, I interviewed Tyler the first season and then second season came around and I really tried to involve myself more and and kind of interview all of them and kind of get like a nice yeah. perspective. And Discovery was like really kind of weird with me and i'm like why are you guys being so weird with me i've already had tyler on you know what the show's about it's tongue-in-cheek like why is everyone so threatened they were i think they 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 knew it was gonna be canceled they they a lot of them knew that and a lot of them were tyler was causing shit behind the scenes he was they they did not want anything to do with him so if you you were he goes if i do this show i'm not gonna be on pig royalty anymore so i can't come on your show and i'm like you're, the show's not going to. No, I think one, he's not right? going to show because they. I knew it was canceled. Also, I think he was doing a lot of other things. Yeah, he just was, and he, it wasn't poppers, but probably yeah. that too. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Um, I'm just saying I wasn't the bad guy in the situation, and just you're never the bad guy. You're just a shit stir. Exactly. I, I'm like, it's, it's can a, we? It's a spoon, not a knife. <laughs> I'm stealing that bitch. Um, can I say I, I was appalled by this fact that Ross shared. When we would go on family vacations, we would just bring everything to the airport. We wouldn't know where we were going. We would just decide at oh, the airport. Psycho. I Thank got so you. much anxiety. This is not. This is not a safe. This is. 
What are your chill? Huh, huh, I, uh, I can't. So the much anxiety. Had anxiety? Like what? That doesn't Do sound. Do they sleep in the street? You don't have accommodations. <laughs> Do you know how expensive it is to show up at the airport and just buy a trip to Morocco when you, you know, don't know, know you're you going? Can. They would be like, that's a red flag. We're going to flag you. <laughs> I will. I will. I will say this. I have when I was traveling in my 20s, I did stay in hostels. And sometimes you would find like uh, British and Australian families traveling and they would stay in fucking hostels <laughs> and take over the whole room. with <laughs> and their take over the whole room. Fucking so rude. they probably did that, but uh, y'all, if you're if you're past your twenties, don't stay in hostels. Don't oh, do no. that to yourself. <laughs> Love yourself and get Love yourself, yourself a hotel room. more to pay <laughs> than, than the, you deserve more than a hostel. Love yourself and pay the extra money. Don't fly spirit unless you want to become a spirit. <laughs> 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 Hold on, you guys. When we were talking about Captain Sandy, I did not finish what I wanted to say about her, and it please. just came back. So oh, I just please. want to say that she got kind of a bad rap because she does do the whole micromanager thing. And I feel like in past seasons, there's been some instances where I would have been like, all right, we fucking get it, Captain Sandy. But I feel like this season in particular, she really showed her leadership in a constructive manner that we actually got to see the result of that. No, nope. like the way she, she came managed in and she cleaned Frazier, house. and then he came out an actual good stew at the end. She she did. She said it in the worst possible way. That's Absolutely. that's that is her superpower. <laughs> Just, I, I hate that you're right, but you're right, to, Leanne. I, listen, but it's I'm, because he came for her. He did, and you know, he, gays he, and lesbians. That's what I you. said. Mortal, See, you know, mortal enemies, mortal. Even though I love lesbians and have tried to be one several times. I think I'm an outlier. Um, no, he came for her, so she was like, you know what? Fuck came you. For her. Fuck yeah. you. But we're on TV, so not all the way. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fuck you a little bit. But well, since, since we're on TV, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to turn it around. And the whole Alyssa thing, uh, like when when Alyssa said, well, you just got here. So it's like, I don't know if you know how things. And, and Sandy was like, hmm. That kind of stuck in her craw, and then Sandy just was finding a way to get her out. What what Sandy did is write casting errors. Um, now, unfortunately, Camille was gone. That was sad. But having uh, she she basically made Frazier better in not a good way. Alyssa should have never been on that boat. She doesn't even cause fun drama. She caused awful drama. She's insufferable. Yeah, it's yeah, it's because there's there's a big difference between someone like Riley, who was loud, kind of and like was jumping off the boat and was fucking like fighting with people all the time. I fucking loved her. She was just a chaos agent. Uh, she's or, her dad. Yeah, or Alyssa, who was good at her job but was passive aggressive and no one and it wasn't it wasn't funny. It was it made you feel gross. If you're gonna be passive aggressive, at least be funny, like Kate Chastain, and like yes. make us laugh at the end. You know, like RuPaul always says, "Just make me laugh." It's a very simple rule, but it goes like in all aspects. It's yeah. the, it's the only rule that I have on my fucking show. I always say, "I'm just like RuPaul, bitch. I don't care what you say. Just make me motherfucking laugh. Just make me laugh." Whole, whole, whole wholeheartedly agree. Make this laugh. <laughs> I agree with that. Um, I agree in my hole. I agree. Wow. Okay. <laughs> On that, we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all. We are back. Um, all right, Leon. Take the condom off. Put it on. I don't know what you want to do. It's your turn. What's your tea bag? Okay. So, you know how we had to watch this season? We had to endure. And we had to empathize with poor Tony being on the bottom bunk <laughs> while Ben was plowing Camille on top of him. Rabbit fucking her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just found out he wasn't the only victim. <gasps> yes. Uh, 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 Tyler, uh, uh. On, Tyler was on Watch What Happens Live with Haley and he said yes. that he had to hear Katie and Ross have sex. <gasps> above Tony him. had to hear it. No, no, Tyler. Oh, Tyler, Tyler had to hear it. Tyler had to hear Ross and Katie having sex above him. 
And then Andy Cohen was like, well, what was that like? And he goes, honestly, like, I didn't really hear anything. I just knew they were doing it. So maybe it wasn't that good of the sex, or, <laughs> which is fun, kind of funny because they were both like, Haley was like, I didn't know that Ross was a sex addict. And Tyler was like, oh, I could tell. Plus, I heard him have sex with, <laughs> with Haley. He, uh, I think he's going to really come out of his shell. I wouldn't be surprised if they had him on another season after he had kind of like, kind of wised up and went to West Hollywood and danced on a box. Oh yeah. Um, Especially he was just on watch what happens live. Andy Cohn was giving him the little look ooh. asking him if him and Frazier had, had ever hooked up. Oh, and come on. Tyler was like, no, we didn't hook up. I had a boyfriend, but he's like, I did feel a little tension between me and Frazier. Really? Really? Like, what are you guys going to do? Rub butts together? <laughs> Oh, we, I think Fraser's we, a top. A we, think that, we think that Taylor that that Fraser is a blouse, a feminine top. <laughs> well, um, come top me, Fraser. Come let me know. Come show me the way. <laughs> I I do have to say that I want to talk about when Fraser said, "Going forward, I will never judge a book by its cover again." Said no gay man ever. <laughs> How long did that last? I'm like, honey, that's what we do best is judge. judge that's your you. superpower. And you're gay and British. You have to. I, can you I imagine think he if he felt so grown up because he was like, I have learned how to be a chief stew. So he was like, maybe I won't be judgmental anymore. Mm, oh. <laughs> no. Kate, Kate Chastain never gave a single thought to not being a judgmental bitch on any season. And she still did good work. That's true. Boy, that's very true. He, he's never seen a Kate Chastain season. And I'm not. that's that's how you know how it's done when she the thing about I think what what a lot of people oh, think no, she stews are Kate is like it's I worship Chastain her right. oh. is I think they think that they're miscongeniality all the time. No, they're sometimes direct and they present things. And in a kind way, you can tell Kate sometimes is kind of looking at them and going, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, behind her eyes. And I love that about her. <laughs> oh, there was so many times she did that. Are you kidding me? That was yeah. like her entire brand was subliminal messaging. <laughs> yeah. Subliminal messaging. <laughs> and rocket ships. Probably um, my most popular episode ever on Everyone is Terrible is my episode with Kate Chastain. <gasps> That's right. And I had to I'm edit so it out because she told me things that – she had a glass of wine and she told me a bunch of stuff that I had to like later edit. And <laughs> she like made sure because that bitch even signed up to my Patreon because she was like, bitch, I'm going to see if I can trust you. <laughs> and I was like, I promise I will edit it out. And I did because I didn't want to get her in trouble. Yeah, I don't ever want to. We, we always say we do like super softball interviews. We're not Barbara Walters. We're here to like exactly. just, have to fun. It's a television show. I say it all the time. I don't understand why people are so scared of me in the PR world. I think it started with After Buzz in that because yeah. I was starting to create a name there. And that's where me and Maddie go back and and, and you'll have to do a deep dive on that. But <laughs> you know, I think they were grooming us in a way to be like these Perez Hilton kind of muckrakers, hot stir people. And I, it, think I, I don't know if it's after Buzz from that, had but. a reputation of that. I think a bit. Yeah. yeah. And I think it still f followed me around for a little bit. I think I'm finally breaking free of it. Cause like everyone is terrible. Yes. Everyone is terrible, but like with love, come on my show. It's like not that bad. Come on. Yeah. I think, <laughs> uh, What's your next tea bag, oh, Maddie? My next one is speaking of subliminal messaging. God, how magic is Camille's pussy? Because why is <laughs> fucking Ben still fawning over? Literally, Leanne is all but just throwing herself. Leanne looks like me at 215 on Santa Monica Boulevard. I'm the just throwing sale. I'm yeah. just throwing myself at any top I've seen saying it. It some is pathetic. Just saying someone love me or ravage yeah. me. One of the two. It's especially they were literally in a private cabin and didn't have sex. I, what was that? Everyone and he's like, I feel bad because it's for me. I'm going to see if it works out with Camille. I'm like, she hasn't even thought about you in days. The one time she thinks about you is when she texts you. Hey, Ben, I can barely talk to you right now because 
my favorite Camille thing. And you're lucky that I text you. You're lucky. You're like, you're getting the best of me right now. And then she says, he's like, what about when I'm in Australia? And she's like, ugh. I don't have the mental capacity to think about that right now. That is the most Camille thing I've ever heard, <laughs> which is why I love her. Granted, she's a terrible person, but I want to see her on many other reality shows. She'd be so good on Perfect Match. So uh, good. Cam- Camille is just that girl. We all grew up with her. Oh, yeah. She she's that up. girl. She did she beat, beat us up. up. She smoked cigarettes and <laughs> she lived in the trailer park. But and I she wanted was to be cool. her. <laughs> And, but she park. wanted to get out of that trailer park because she thought she didn't deserve to be there. Oh, yeah. Camille, but Camille. do you, Lynn, have you seen Perfect Match, the show on, um, it's like takes Love is Blind rejects on Netflix. and it's a Netflix show. Yes. And- I, well, I've seen it on there and I know it's starting to become the new Love is Blind, but I just refuse to get sucked up. No, it basically is like, give me your tired, your poor. It's like give us give oh, us the losers. Um oh. but but it, although Francesca was on it and she was she won her villain card very well from Too Hot to Handle. Mm. Yeah. I'm on the first episode. I just start cuz we're going to talk about it at the end of this week. And I'm not impressed yet, but everybody says it gets better. Oh, you have to get to like about episode 3 or 4 and then shit starts happening. <laughs> um can I What's talk about one? The fact that we were edged for a lo- almost like Captain Sandy edging to Mariska Hargitay on Lauren or SVU. We were edged to get a coming out from Tyler to his mom for several episodes. Mm-hmm. And then his mom just goes, I'm at Granny's. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I took it. Like, she's like, your grandmother won't take this well. Shut the fuck up. She was like, I'm at Granny's. We don't want her to die. <laughs> I'm at Granny's. Ixnay on the ag fay talk. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? It, it was kind of like a false hope because it kind of was also perceived on the show as in like, honey, I already think I know what it is. And don't worry about it. Like, I'm going to love you no matter what. Like, it's all good. But then on Watch What Happens Live, he's like, uh, it did not come out that good. And really, Russell, yeah, he said she did not take it well, and that they've been working on it, and she's much better. But he literally grew up in like a whole buck town of like ten people, yeah, two hours south, south of Africa. South Africa. So it's like I don't know. What that I is. I have a feeling from from hearing that I have a feeling they probably tried to get him to do something on camera, and they tried to make it work, and he basically said this is not going to work right now um, or something like that. I, I, I probably had something to do with Maybe. like, because Bravo loves to capitalize on shit like that. Absolutely. You think yeah. he was just randomly going to his room to call his mom to say I'm gay, like out of nowhere. Hey mom, guess you know, what? They're going, bitch, it's the last episode. Go. <laughs> they're like, Camille left and we need something. Get in there. You I twink. Mean, Seriously, like we don't have anything right now. Like even Ross is on his best best behavior. Like we just did a bodybuilding contest and it was stupid. <laughs> How many shots do you need, you little queen? By the way, <laughs> I get it. They have to. I get uncomfortable by the shit the deck the the shit the crew has to. This bo- making people do a bodybuilding. Co- I mean, I enjoyed I it because the it. men were. I mean, you well, forget how ripped Ross is. He really is just like. But he's Incredibly still ripped. He's still in the face. Looks like Lady Elaine Fairchild from he Mr. Does. Rogers that he you does. said. I did. He's still, yeah. To me, he looks like twelve years old with the pizza face. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm he like, looks, why do you look twelve and fifty at the same time? But you look like he that does have one of those faces where you can see the old man and the child at the same time. Yes, yeah, it's definitely. This is, this is good now, though. We can do. We, this is a panel. Okay, we've got three gay. We got like three gay men here. Panel. I want to know something I'm familiar with. Go ahead. Who? who we're, let's. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do a fuck Mary kill with the th- with the guys on the boat, y'all. Oh my god! Fine. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, okay, we're doing this now. Um, Lynn, I will let you. No, I'm gonna make Lynn go middle. Poodle, you go first. Okay. 
Um, you you have to ask me three questions. Don't you know how this works? <laughs> Fuck Mary Kill. Who are you gonna fuck of, of the guys on the boat? No, options, you say no. options. Do no, you not know how okay. this works? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, Tony. No, Ross. you have to offer three options, sweetie. You and fuck you Mary over- Kill. That's what I just said. Tony, Ross, or Ben. Okay, that is the way you do it. Okay, that's you what can't... I did. Mean. The straight guys, you just weren't with me. No, you w- usually. <laughs> you're on. You've been on a plane. Leon, you Leon had a is, drink. Leon is laughing because Leon gets you, it. You fumbled that so badly. No, I um, did it all. <laughs> y'all, someone has never played that game. <laughs> you guys are both on point. You're just not on the same point. <laughs> Well that's said. our show, Leon. That's that our is show. consistently our show. So you said Ross, Tony, and all the all the ben. straight men. Yeah. Um, I think. Oh, this is going to be controversial. Um, <laughs> it won't be Leon. I'm going to fuck like- Ross. I can't believe it, but I'm going to wrap it up. Wait, why is it controversial? Everyone wants to fuck Ross because he says that's, he's a sex addict. That's true, because I want to. I want to see it get wild, uh, <laughs> because I know Matt. I know Maddie's going to want to kill him. Um, I want to fuck Ross. I want to marry Ben, and I'm sorry, Tony. I want to kill you. <laughs> I I don't I don't know why. I kind of just want to kill you because. Uh, I don't know. You bothered me the whole time, and no one should be getting up that early to exercise. <sighs> but look at that body, though. I agree. Well, Leanne, but... who, who would you say? Uh, strictly on the body, like I'm thinking long term. So I'm like, I need. Who am I gonna fuck every night? So if I'm like, I'm gonna be on a straddling someone. I want to straddle Tony. Mm. I'll you know start. what I mean? Like, get up at 4.30 a.m. I'm going to still be sleeping, so I don't give a fuck. Go ahead and get up. <laughs> Just don't fucking wake me up, and we're good. So, like, I think I'm going to have to marry Tony. I'm going to have to shag Ross because I need to see what this is all about, Pizza Boy. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to kill I'm gonna kill Ben because he had sex with Camille. <laughs> And her magic pussy, and her pussy right. when her when her legs opened, it was like the Willy Wonka, the <laughs> chocolate factory for the first time. And you got a whiff of good move, Clico. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Ooh, that's a pungent one. Yeah, um, oat champagne pussy. Well, you're not going to believe this, but n- the neither none of us agreed. I would actually, I would, I would totally, I would. Yeah, we didn't agree totally. I would kill Tony, actually, because he's just so fucking boring. He's just boring. He's just, I, I couldn't be. And I would fuck Ben and marry Ross. You would marry Ross? Why would you marry Ross? We here. just had thunder here like in Los Angeles. And lightning. But I would knock on Ross's okay. wood. Well, we all would, but not every day. No, yeah. because I feel like I feel like I want to have a day where I just wake up and not know where I'm going. It's a it's a it, it's a it's a eat pray love every but day. Every day. Yes. Every That's single different. day. Crap. Yeah, he's gonna cheat on me. Yeah, our marriage is good. But as long as I know that he's not gonna be around and I can kind of do what I want, it's like an open marriage. That's oh, I see because with Tony. Because he's on boats, it'll be an open marriage. Yeah. Well, and, we'll, and we'll go it'll somewhere a, new every every week. It'll, it'll definitely be an open marriage for him. <laughs> now, Absolutely. I'm definitely going to have to have a Z pack drip uh, just all the time. Oof, boy! Oh my he, god! Wait, who was he dating? Remember, he was dating that other girl oh, from the What was deck. her name? Dark haired oh, girl. Catherine. Was it Catherine? Who was it? What was her name? People are scream. People, Leon. People scream at us. They when do. when They're we can't come up with names, we go, who is that? Or we get it wrong like, and we oh. sound like two old ladies. We do. <laughs> We're like, who is I know, that? I'm like sitting here who thinking, is that I'm on like, that who show? Who the was fuck that? Is that? I will say if Maddie had his own show, he would just say, oh, you know that? What's his name? And it would no one would have a name. <laughs> <laughs> and they get, they get John. Um, all right. Anybody else have a tea bag? Any other tea bag? I think I have one more little thing. Um and that was, I think Fraser was the success story of the season. Um, and I think because he's now, I think he's settled in the franchise. I would not be surprised if we saw him 
on uh, the, the the OG below deck again. I don't. Oh, he's in. I, yeah, he's in. I don't think he's he was going, a huge star at BravoCon. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, going no. He's going nowhere near Sandy. Pretty sure of that. I can't imagine they would do that. Nowhere near what? Like Sandy. I don't think they'll pair him with Sandy again. Oh like, no, they really don't like each other. Like what no, I no. said earlier about them, they probably still don't like each other. No. But even though Fraser's like, I respect her, blah blah blah. He's like, respectfully, I don't want to work with her again. Yeah. Respect. No, he's, she's like, she's like, yeah, I like a, I like a chief stew with a little more boob on her. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah. She yeah. does. Like yeah. a tight butt. Why don't you like her to walk it away? <laughs> I think he was a success story. He was. It was the success story of the season. Yeah. And you know what? Even though Alyssa was terrible, she is beautiful. She is beautiful. <laughs> And that's all that matters, really. That was I mean, her, game, guys. She's like, she's horrible, but she's gorgeous. I do that too. <laughs> she is gorgeous. Like, she needs to do an OnlyFans. Like, I. I that's true. I was did, thinking about it. I'm like, bitch, do an OnlyFans. Did Did you see her on Watch What Happens Live? It was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen in my life. You know what? Some people just do not know how to yeah. not shoot themselves in the foot, but like. Oof. That's her, hard. Randy Glanville. I'm like, you guys are all cut from the same motherfucking yeah. cloth. She Don't looks really pretty doing it. You. Yeah. Brandy Glanville, I will say, was amazing on the traders because she she was just pulling her normal shit. <laughs> oh, she was so good on the traders, and I was so pissed when they X'd her off. But like, <sighs> like Alyssa was just being unlikable on Watch What Happens Live. Like, when you go on Watch What Happens Live, you should have thrown it all away and been like, I know I was terrible. I apologize. Right? Love me, America. I'm so sorry, Andy. Like, I was being a bad girl, but you know what? And tagline, enter here. Like, she could have really played her cards right. But instead, Thank you for saying that. Like, she just, you know what? Pride and ego will always be the downfall of those kind of people. They just cannot put their pride and ego aside. And it's like, just show some vulnerability. You don't have to be a bad bitch all the time. This is words of wisdom from Leon. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Sorry. the most terrible usually. <laughs> from Leon, surname, first Christian name, Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood Leon. Y'all, that, that's all I have. Do y'all have any more things that's to say? That's all I've got. Leon, yeah. anything else? I'm going to get shit-faced after a long flight. <laughs> I I, I want to say, Tony, I'm sure it was the edit. I'm sure you're, mo you're more fun than what we saw. He's a Latino boy. I'm sure there's some power in that rust somewhere, but we didn't get to see any of it. So mm, it is what it is, boo-boo. Well, is is. maybe maybe somewhere and somewhere on a cruise in I don't know in Port off the a port in Portugal, you'll meet him and get to ride him like the stallion you want to. <laughs> and y'all can adopt a stray cat together. <laughs> I'm down. Everyone is terrible. Hollywood, Leon. Thank you so much for jumping. Thank you on for the coming show on our today. show, Leon. Thank you for having me, boys. So much fun. It was a lot ha of fun. Have me on so we can actually get both of us destroyed. <laughs> Absolutely, please. Whatever you want to watch or jump on the bandwagon again. Perfect. And we'll, we'll cover it. I'll, I'll get an email from Patreon. Um, yeah, we had to close your account because of that <laughs> episode you did. I'm like, what episode? I, I said I said something about some Polish uh, no, white supremacist no, 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 group no, no, or something. Yes, oh God. Yeah. Um, I, I will say uh, we are covering something called Seeking Brother Husband, Leon. So if you want to talk about it. Seeking um, Brother Husband. What is, is TLC? It's a TLC. Oh, yes, it is. A oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a TLC joint. Why isn't TLC paying you guys already and just like taking you guys in? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Like you guys give so much love to the, you know what? You know who We're you guys are? You guys are the lady. And and Big Ed is TLC, and the meme is like, <laughs> I like the we view. Are, you do? Oh You're my god. best view. Oh. We are Rose. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and TLC is Big Ed. That is so. That's the most accurate representation of who we are. <laughs> and I need to go shower. I'm beat. Leah In fact, read us for fifth. I need to rethink <laughs> every single choice I've made in the last three years. <laughs> On that note, Leon, tell everybody where they can find you. 
<laughs> oh my god guys if you got even just an ounce of something good out of that please come follow me hollywood leon the podcast is called everyone is terrible the instagram is everyone is terrible pod we talk about all the terrible things and people we see on tv it's fabulous it's fun it's tongue-in-cheek it's just enough but not enough to feel guilty the next morning it's just <gasps> enough so come over and play in our playground it's fun okay you sold yourself much better than we ever do. <laughs> Leon is actually a professional. We're not. He's really like, like I, I'm like embarrassed now uh, because uh, we're we're Big Ed's girlfriend. Well, we are. <laughs> I, we are Big Ed. So I will say this to sissies. Leon is probably y'all sissies all the time say, "Oh, Jake and Maddie." work so hard and we do work hard but i have to say lean is one of the, the the busiest hustlers i've ever seen and even though you're you're a snarky bitch you're also one of the sweetest people i, I know in this business Thank and you, he has a schnauzer so i have to love him uh i do i do and i love you, you maddie fucking you're schnauzers so awesome. <laughs> we love you you loved my schnauzer too you practically raised her she was weak you cried <laughs> when she died Jake, oh my God. <laughs> she was weak from the day our, I met her. Leon, our poor Instagram, because I forget what our Instagram account I'm under, either reality gays or mine. It's so just I hot actually... guys and schnauzers. <laughs> that is that is our suggestions. And I'm like, and I'll just occasionally text him. I'm like, you need to stop following from the reality gays because it's just schnauzers and like Guys. And the guy from uh, the the black guy from British Baking, uh, the British Bake Off, yeah. Andro. Andro, he's so hot. That I'm like, fucker. that's my husband right there. Oh, that that's fucker. Hubby. Speak that into existence, please. All right, everybody. <laughs> you know the drill. Go to realitygays.com. You know where to find it. You know where to find us. Forget us. We're fucking Ro Big Ed's girlfriend. Go follow Hollywood <laughs> Leon. That everyone just, is terrible. Just gum in that TLC dick. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Let it go, TLC. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>